Palo English learners. Today we're going to focus on an interesting topic. Not exactly swearing, but more polite equivalents for when we're feeling angry or we've made a mistake. So first of all, I'd just like to speak about two instances where it's really not acceptable to swear in British culture, and that's when you're with strangers who you don't know, and also in front of children. It's really taboo and not done. So we're going to think about five alternatives to swearing, which are more polite and which you can use. So the first one, say you fall over here, we quite often use sugar. Oh, sugar, something like that. It's really common equivalent to all the swear words you can think of, and it's a, it's a good one to use, and a common one to use. Okay, next one. Say you've missed the train. Fiddlesticks, fiddlesticks. I really like this one. It sounds quite old fashioned, but it is used. It's just like you're really frustrated. Fiddlesticks. Okay, moving on to our third one. Oh, this is lots of ones actually. Oh man, oh my days. Oh my god, careful with this one. Oh my giddy aunt. These are all various expressions of frustration and upset, quite informal. As I said, be careful with oh my god in religious company. And oh my god, giddy aunt is quite uh, old fashioned as well. Okay. Fourth one already. Let's go. Why on earth? Right? That's when you're feeling really quite down, you're blaming people. Why on earth? Why me? I can't believe it. Those kind of things. Okay. Say you make a mistake. Oh, some great ones here. Oops. Oops. Oops a daisy. Oops a daisy is fantastic. Again, a bit old fashioned but something we would really say and you know when when you've done something wrong you didn't do it intentionally and so on so i hope this enriches your english vocabulary and you avoid swearing in in cases when it's not so good this has been charles wood english teacher your language tutor online i look forward to teaching you soon in the future and don't forget to like and subscribe